Jaina versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. You asked for it. Right, this is Tetsubo again, bringing you game two of my match against Dendrit. I'm still playing Mage, he's still playing Priest. I am gonna toss these two and keep the Mana Worm because he's a good early game guy. And this is actually a pretty nice curve if we can get it off. Ancient Watcher. That's always dangerous. Um, think spell damage is nice to have next turn. If he somehow silences this and and kills the mana worm, then I can frost bolt him. Oh, double Ancient Watcher. I actually don't know if there's like a global silence spell. I don't think there is. I hope there isn't. Because that would suck. I'm gonna play Mirror Image and pick one of them. Well, that backfired horribly. But right, it's fine, I guess. Um, the question is, do we do we waste resources killing the Watchers? Because if he never what to do? If he never gets him out of their stasis, then it, they don't really matter. I think they're, the idea is more to, to give them taunts. I, I don't know. I think we're just gonna kill one of them. Because if he gives them taunt, then I'm in serious trouble. Because we're gonna try and uh, kill them as fast as possible. Not gonna make the mistake of pinging him again, because he'll just heal it up and then, then he's fine. I think we'll probably leave this guy, this one, alive. Until he gets taunted up, and then we can just polymorph it. I must consider. Play That's fine, I guess. That's less, less fun. And a frostbolt. Um This is a rough one actually. Hmm. I'm I'm just gonna play intellect and then see see what what the options are. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna ping him and trade my worm. That's the best option now. I'm not sure if there was a way to do that without losing the worm. I don't think My there was. So. Yeah, there we go. 
that was his plan all alone. Luckily we have a pretty solid counter. The question is, do we play it already? I don't think we do. I think we play Yeti and we kill this guy. So we keep our taunts rolling. And then next turn, we can polymorph, deal damage, and play a little guy. Yep. That's the danger of playing priest. That you, you buff some guy up ridiculously and then you walk into cards like Hex and Polymorph. Now the question really becomes do we leave the 1-1 one -one alive? Is it worth playing Harvest Golem or Acolyte? I think Acolyte's actually not bad. If he doesn't do anything with the the sheep, then next turn I can pick up a free card. And I do need cards because I'm down to four and he has seven. Is someone injured? Yep. This sucks because I really want this guy dead. Hmm. Let's see what we draw first. Nova. Doesn't really help. Uh, I really don't want to waste a flame strike on this guy. But we do have a double taunt still, so we should be okay, I guess. Well, I'm definitely the aggro here, so I'm just gonna put some bodies on the board. Try and put as much pressure as we can. Priest is a pretty rough matchup to play against. Because usually they don't play too many creatures. They usually play pretty big. Pretty big creatures. I think this is one of the only times where Flame Strike might actually be useful. And then even even it only it's only useful thanks to the spell the spell damage. So again, we're actually pretty lucky. Turns out. Like this. Job's done. Actually, in retrospect, not sure if the one point of damage from the Acolyte is worth it. I could have attacked the Nordshire Cleric and picked up an extra card and even kept it around. So I'm not sure about that. On the other hand, every, every point of damage Ooh. counts. Because that's half a heal. Less. Yeti. Double Yeti. I think it's Nova time. Yeah. I think that's a good time. I 
could play the Azure Drake here. Alright. The problem is that we can't ping the Yetis because he'll just heal them up. So actually what we want is an extra flame strike. So I'm gonna ping my own acolyte to draw a card. There we go. This is good. Next turn. <clears throat> we might actually be able to go for the kill next turn. Depending on what we draw and what he does now. Like if he if he mind controls something then probably not, but Must we have 8, 10, 11. Take her. Ah, taunt. That, that changes things drastically. Oof. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much perfect, but he's not gonna like that. At all. I wonder. I think we're gonna go mana worm. Flame strike. <laughs> <coughs> Explosion. You have been. Yeah. Yeah, get it, getting double flame strike is not really fun. Without the flame strike, I still had a solid plan with the double spell damaged arcane explosion, but I had to trade a lot of my board for it. So that would have definitely changed the game. But I, I was still in it. It's not like I completely stole the win there. Job Just done. one faster. This is not the best hand ever, but this is actually this is actually good. Well, it was good against the priest because it kills Northshire cleric, but now it, it's it's a bit less so. I think we're just gonna ping. Job done. This is a good guy versus Shaman. Because Stormforged Axe doesn't kill it. And Lightning Bolting it is really inefficient. So it's. it's and it picks up every totem. So I, I think the only thing. That's good against this is Feral Spirit. Hmm. What to do? It's not a play I particularly like, especially not with Storm projects, because now he has one mana next turn. Yeah, I think so. 
So basically he can't do anything about two mana. I like the lightning bolt again. Or hex. But all in all that's wasting a lot of resources just to kill one guy. So he he pretty much wasted an entire axe. A lightning bolt and a coin and a hex for a yeti and a harvest golem. Hmm. What to do? And more importantly, he lost a lot of tempo, as in he hasn't put anything dangerous on the board while I have a yeti. Feral spirit helps, of course. No, no argument there. But I think we are okay with the double frostbolt. Not sure if we're gonna double frostbolt though. Hmm. No, I think we will. We we got enough quality removal for crazier creatures he can mm. play, so I just Yeah, he picks up a two for one, but this this puts us in quite a nice board position. This is perfect. With the Drake, we can use Arcane Explosion to clear out the totems, because you you can't leave them hanging hang around too much, or you get Flame Tongue totemed or Bloodlusted or something like that. So I think Azure Drake into Arcane what Explosion is what? pretty much perfect here. And we we drew into secondary AoE removal, so that's pretty much perfect. That's a good one. Does he have a second hex? Oh, okay. Yeah, getting getting rid of the spell power is not a bad idea. All right. Um, I think we're just gonna polymorph it. I don't see a reason why we should let him keep it. He's getting pretty low already. Um, there's a very low chance he has a charge, but I think it's best we cover everything, cover all possibilities. Don't really see harm in playing them now. I got the best deals anywhere. That's a good one. Yep. Now we are in a bit of trouble. So you pretty much have to morph here. Gadgetson is a bit too dangerous 
in the shaman deck. All right, what do we need? We need an arcane intellect or oh, mana tide. Mana tide, huh? That sucks. Right, I think we'll have to build Blizzard here. Can't let this guy draw him too many cards. Azure Drake would be nice. Alright. Let the pain we speak to you for vengeance. Job done. Just have to try and stall him out a bit. Try and dig. Oh, in hindsight, pinging, pinging the one-one totem was a mistake. Could have used it to draw a card off the acolyte. Hmm. What to do? Think I pretty much have to top deck two fireballs in a row to still win this. He has way too much card advantage. Yep. This game's pretty much over unless I pull off pull off a miracle from the top. Hmm. What to do? Rock by the weapon. Okay. Ah. Well, it's a taunt, so it saves me some damage. Haha, -ha, that's pretty much perfect. Good. If he doesn't kill the water elemental, I wonder. we're just gonna Nova and use Arcane Intellect to dig further. Use this to stall for some time and hope we can dig up some burn. I don't think I can survive mm -hmm. 11 turns. Does have charge. A pretty good charge at that. I wonder. Curious to see what. Oh, okay, so he'll probably kill the... Yeah. Makes sense. Let's see what we draw first. Ooh, that's interesting. This guy's frozen already. 
So I think we just play this guy and ping. Job's done. Yeah, py pyro. I I wish. I wish I had pyro. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if him playing around Pyro or trying to play around it I is wonder. in my favor. Because I think the only thing Shaman can do to play around it is rush me down. And that's exactly what I don't want him to do at this point. So yeah. But it, it's natural to assume that I have the Pyro. What to do? But I, I don't. I don't own it. I don't see how you, you can own it, unless you spend tons of hours on this game, or maybe tons of money, but that's kind of the only knock that I have on this game. That some, some of the cards are actually pretty difficult to get a hold of, and it's, it's perfectly possible to create a valid deck that doesn't doesn't need those expensive cards. It's just that a deck like this, like this mage deck, can be made instantly better by having Pyroblast. It's just a straight upgrade. I can still win with it, but it's a ton more difficult. Oh, I'm sorry. That actually sucks. And I should've, should've played the Mana Worm first, Jesus. I'm mucking it up. Right, let's just go for broke here. We have him dead next turn if he doesn't kill anything. But that that's unlikely in my opinion. Ah, uh, lightning storm. Well, there's still a chance. Nope. Earth, earth shock. Maybe a lightning bolt. Earth shock, yep. Oh man. <laughs> top deck, top deck of top deck of the week. Yeah, that was pretty much the only thing that could win me the game. Well, not the only... It wasn't the only thing that could have won me the game, but still... It's pretty ridiculous. I think I know why people hate playing mages. But it's fun, it's ma ma mages. Playing mage is fun. Not because you can pyroblast and fireball your way to victory. The, the fun cards in mage are like uh, Mana Worm and Sorcerer's Apprentice and Water Elemental. Stuff like that. So, yeah. That was actually a pretty nice 
nice showing for my mage deck. Even if it doesn't have any pyroblasts. <laughs> I have no idea how much dust I have. I have 120 dust. So yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a ways off. I'm a ways off the pyro. But I'm I'm getting there. I'm I'm planning to get them the first it's the first card on my list. The thing is I invested a bit in my warrior deck. A deck I also li like to play a lot. So yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you guys the next time.